Hi everybody, welcome back to the studio. I thought I'd give you a little brief introduction today and say hi, since some of you who watch the videos haven't seen me in a while. I'm going to paint today, but I'm going to concentrate on painting around the object. I'm going to reverse the negative space. We think of the negative space as the area around what we're painting, but today I'm going to paint around the object. I'm going to use masking fluid. Today I am painting a cicada that I found and let me get it set up and uh, we'll start painting. Hi, I'm back here at the drawing table, painting table, and I'm going to put down water, you know me, it's often the way I start. I don't think you can see, but I have a cicada drawn here, that cicada that I mentioned. The orientation is that I'm going to be painting it this way. And uh, what I have done is I have put the masking fluid on the wings. I have put it on where the wings look to have these little dark filaments. This is where I put it. I also put it around the eyes and this dark band here between the head and the body. So you'll see that in just a minute as soon as I start painting. I used a gray pencil to create uh, the lines. I don't know if they'll erase or not. Hi, okay, I'm going to get out a nice big brush. I have a few colors out here. I have Grumbacher a uh, green, a light green. I have uh, like a cadmium red. I have an uh, opera, and I have a yellow. I have uh, the Hansa yellow. So let's put something down. See how it goes with red here. I mean, why does it have to be? Now, this is where our little guy has his body, so I'm going to go around that. Okay, I decided to get out the dioxazine violet. And uh, I'm just had to turn off the video for a moment because the siren came on being Monday morning. Is that too much information? Probably. But let's put this on. Let's. Ooh, that's a lot of water there. Too much water. This paint. Let's make a better puddle here. Yeah, I want it darker. This is going to be a bug. It's going to be a light bug on a darker background. Okay, I'm going to have to let that dry. And okay, let's let it dry. Everything's pretty dried up here, so I'm going to paint the body. I don't really have this board taped down, so when I touch it, it moves. I'm going to make his body green. It is a green, but it's not this green. But that's alright. We're going to make 
pink, the body green. Now I pu also put masking fluid on the body. I'm going to make him green and yellow. He's got a leg over here. I kind of made up the leg because you can't see. His legs are underneath. That actually has to be red there. But I will, maybe I'll do that right now. Now I'm making an opaque layer of that red. So I want to kind of pull it out to make it little, look a little more intentional. There we go. You know what they say. When in doubt, make it red. So I'll bring some of that around here. And with my bigger brush, just kind of soften it out. Now the brush, actually, this brush has purple on it. Not wet. I'm using the paper to dry. All right. Now we will. Let me see that. Maybe I need to raise this in a minute. Okay, then I'm going to. Do some details on my model. Okay, I want him to look round. And he has some um, lines. Can you see on his head? Yeah, striations and such. Let's let that dry up and then we will come back for just the eyes and a few details. I'm sorry, but he lost a leg here on my drawing table. Sorry, guy. Okay. And looking at that, my dark has to be a lot darker. So I'm going to come back with the, I think with the ultramarine. I'm going to take it down a notch. It might even be black, but I'm not sure I want to go that dark at this point. Just do the ultramarine and see if that doesn't make us a little happier. Yeah, that color is not a good mixture. I mean, it's you can see it's it's caked on the brush, so I'm not liking that. We will deal with that in a minute. Let's dry it up and then we can handle 
what's going on there a little better, I think. Time to finish things up here. I'm going to mix some of my blue with that green. And I'm going to just outline some things. This is a very decorative bug. It's kind of like I'm giving him mascara there. And okay, it's right out here. And there's all these, this ribbing and everything else along here. Whoops, I got too many. I'm going to put some here. Okay, then let's just paint the eye, let it dry, and take off the masking fluid. I'd like the eyes to be bright. And they have to have, oh, I forgot about the, the opera, didn't I? Oh well. We'll put some of that in now. And maybe we'll try some of that opera over here. Let's let it dry and then let's take off the masking fluid. <laughs> 